Daily Words of God For a long time, people who believe in God have all been earnestly hoping for a beautiful destination, and all of God's believers hope that good fortune will suddenly come to them. They all hope that before they know it, they will find themselves peacefully seated at one place or another in heaven. But I say that these people, with their lovely thoughts, have never known whether they are qualified to receive such good fortune that falls down from heaven, or even to sit on a seat there. You, at present, have a good knowledge of yourselves, yet you still hope to escape the disasters of the last days and the hand of the Almighty when He punishes the evil ones. It seems as though having sweet dreams and wanting things just how they like is a common feature of all people whom Satan has corrupted, and not some stroke of genius by any lone individual. Even so, I still wish to put an end to these extravagant desires of yours, as well as your eagerness to gain blessings. Given that your transgressions are numerous, and that the fact of your rebelliousness is ever-growing, how can these things fit with your lovely blueprints for the future? If you want to make mistakes as you please, with nothing holding you back. Yet at the same time, you still want your dreams to come true. Then I urge you to continue in your stupor and never wake up. For yours is an empty dream, and in the presence of the righteous God, He will not make an exception for you. If you simply want your dreams to come true, then never dream, rather forever face the truth and the facts. This is the only way that you can be saved. What, in concrete terms, are the steps of this method? First, take a look at all your transgressions and examine any behavior and thoughts you have that do not conform to the truth. This is one thing that you can do easily, and I believe that all intelligent people are able to do this. However, those who never know what is meant by transgression and truth are the exception, because on a fundamental level, they are not intelligent people. I am talking to people who have been approved by God, are honest, have not seriously violated any administrative decrees and can easily discern their own transgressions. Though this one thing I require of you is easy to accomplish, it is not the only thing that I require of you. No matter what, I hope that you will not laugh in private at this requirement and especially that you will not look down on it or take it lightly. You should treat it seriously and not dismiss it. Secondly, for each of your transgressions and disobediences, you should look for a corresponding truth, and then use these truths to resolve those issues. After that, Replace your transgressive acts and disobedient thoughts and acts with the practice of the truth. Thirdly, you should be an honest person, not someone who is always being clever and constantly deceitful. Here I am asking you again to be an honest person. If you can accomplish all three of these things, then you are one of the fortunate, a person whose dreams come true and who receives good fortune. 
Perhaps you will treat these three unappealing requirements seriously, or perhaps you will treat them irresponsibly. Whichever, my purpose is to fulfill your dreams and put your ideals into practice, not to make fun of you or to make a fool out of you. My demands may be simple, but what I am telling you is not so simple as one plus one equals two. If all you do is to talk casually about this or ramble on about empty, high-sounding statements, then your blueprints and your wishes will forever be but a blank page. I will have no sense of pity for those of you who suffer for so many years and work so hard, yet have nothing to show for it. On the contrary, I will treat those who have not met my demands with punishment, not rewards, much less any sympathy. You might imagine that, having been a follower for so many years, you have put in hard work no matter what and you should be granted a bowl of rice in God's house just for being a service doer. I would say that the majority of you think this way, for you have always pursued the principle of how to take advantage of things and not be taken advantage of. Thus, I am telling you now in all seriousness, I do not care how meritorious your hard work is, how impressive your qualifications, how closely you follow me, how renowned you are, or how much you have improved your attitude. As long as you have not met my demands, you will never be able to win my praise. Write off all those ideas and calculations of yours as soon as possible and start treating my requirements seriously. Otherwise, I will turn everyone to ash in order to bring an end to my work and, at worst, turn my years of work and suffering into nothing. For I cannot bring my enemies and those people who reek of evil and have Satan's appearance into my kingdom or take them into the next age.